Hey guys, what's the mine detective here coming at you with another mine exploring video? So this is a uh, day two of our awesome mine adventures. There's Owen, and then uh, here's the mine we're gonna head into. Let me turn on the light real quick, and uh, we're gonna start heading in here. Turn you guys off. Uh, going over this. All right, so we get a little uh, rock fall right here. Wow. Nice haulage tunnel, huh? Yeah. There's one of them. There's two of them. Two different haulage tunnels. So, um, back this way just kind of faces out. But okay. I'll just show you this right here. Um, A little... So, uh, we'll be able to wins? look up from down there. Okay. So... We'll get to the Looks uh, kind of burnt hat, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. The actual experiment works Okay. Alright guys, so... Here's a pretty cool section of mine. We got a a bit of squarset timbering right here. You can see the pegs fitting into each other. It's about maybe uh, 20 feet tall. Oh, there's Owen. <laughs> and then uh, there's some rail over that way as well. And then uh, we got this plank, some more rail. Uh, I got a a couple of pillars right here, a uh, muck sheet, and uh, let's see, what's over this one? That's where uh, Owen was down there. Another pillar. Oh, this looks pretty cool. So we got a. Oh, okay, this is a. Uh, this is where I just uh, came down from. Just wraps around. Pretty cool. All right, guys, just want to show you this real quick. So in this pillar, you can clearly see the vein that they were following. It's uh, about a foot thick in this section. Keeps going. Yeah. We got a good bit of uh, probably lead and silver, gold, zinc, all that good stuff. Alright guys, so right now I'm doing some solo exploring. Owen's doing some 3D scanning. Uh, so right here we have a burnt out uh, ore chute and then off to the right we got what looks like a manaway. And then uh, there's even another ladder right here. There's a level that goes off that way. And uh, yeah, you can see all these timbers are burned, all this rubble down here. And uh, there is the uh, bottom of the chute. And then that just faces. And then uh, I'll go head off this way. This is a really interesting uh, drift because look how high that ceiling is. It's about maybe. Almost, it's like almost 20 feet high. And uh, yeah, it looks, looks really cool. Uh, right here to the right, we got a uh, metal cable spool. Some similar design before. Right here we got yet another ore chute. I got a stoked out section right there. Oh and right here we got a passing lane. You don't see that too often. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
this mine doesn't have much in terms of artifacts, at least so far, but we'll see. Hopefully there's like a whole dynamite box or something like that. But yeah, pretty cool that there's a pretty consistent rail all throughout. Alright, well, I'll turn you guys back on when I find something else. The light is? Uh, no, but if I had to guess, maybe like 800. Not bad. Let's hope that wasn't in this one. Hey guys, so this is my first time doing a voiceover, so hopefully this turns out good. We're going to take a quick break from the video to show off a new project that we have. My buddy Owen has been working on a 3D virtual scan of an abandoned mine, and it looks just amazing. If you've ever wanted to explore one of these abandoned mines, now you can. Make sure to head over to vrmines.com and after the video, use the discount code WMD2022 at checkout. I'll also leave the link in the description. Alright guys, so this is where we uh, went down the ladders. And then uh, right here, we got like an ore pass. And uh, there's actually this ladder right here next to the pneumatic drill pipe. And there's even another ladder below that one. So I'm going to go down there. And uh, the rails wrap around the corner. And uh, there's actually two sets of rail. I didn't even notice that right here and right here. Yeah. Who knows what's down there? And uh, let's just check around this corner real quick. Uh, right here, this is where I was uh, maybe 10 minutes ago. Uh, looking at this uh, square set. And uh, here's a chute. And uh, let's see. Wrap around this corner real quick. Oh, and I already went here, so. Don't think there's too too much. So here's a rail wrapping around a huge stoked out section. Uh, you could easily see the vein right here, and then this uh, stope is maybe 30 feet tall or so. Uh, got some gobbing right here, and uh, yeah. Not too much crazy stuff going on. Yeah, that looks like it's uh, collapsed. So I'll head back to the ladders and uh, see what's down there. Alright, let's uh, head down these ladders. Tight fit. Oh. All right, made it down the first set. There's looking down there. Go around the corner, see what's over that way. Yeah, just a bunch of bunch of trash. Alright, let me uh, get around again. Oh. Oh, here's a cool piece. Uh, these blank, blah blah, good condition. Uh, keep in cool, uh, dry, well ventilated. All right, well, that's a piece of siding off of a dynamite box. Pretty cool. Hopefully, find a whole one down here. All right, 
made it down to the bottom. All right, guys, we got a shoot right here. I have no clue what that is. Uh, there is where I just uh, came down from. Let's take a look at this. Damn. That thing's got away at least. Oh. Yeah, that's a good almost 100 pounds probably. Uh, got an oil can. Shoot. Clogged up, of course. Wow. Here's looking down this uh, pretty long haulage. You can see they removed the track and cross ties. Got another ore chute. daylight right there. Alright, I know where I'm at. I really don't think there's going to be anything uh, of interest. Alright guys, here's the next destination. Uh, so uh, we're going across these sand dunes. <laughs> now this is probably the uh, pile that they processed. It's huge. But yeah, the mine we're heading to is right up there. So it's going to be a pretty good hike. Ooh, oh, and check out the cyanide tanks. Yeah. Got a whole bunch of uh, random metal over that way. Remnants of the building. And I uh, got some concrete vats. Ooh, hey yo, Owen. Doesn't that look like a... I was thinking a blower, but no. Oh, the oh, there's a stove actually. Yeah, that's what I was. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Maybe that stove was used to like uh, heat up the ore. Got quite a few. Watch out, that's plain. Okay, we got quite a few uh, concrete footings. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, now we're going up this narrow canyon you can see that there's some dry waterfalls really oh my god this one's definitely an ore car wheel uh, this one that might be the outer edge of it. Flywheel? There's a wheel. Alright, let's continue on. See what other cool stuff we can find. There's some rail. And some, uh, some pipe. Yeah? Oh yeah. looking up the canyon. Alright guys, so uh, from the car we went about maybe uh, uh, 350 feet or so. Uh, if you can see right there, you got that pipe which goes all the way up the hill. You can see it again right here behind Owen. Uh, I got a couple piles on this side, but uh, the main attraction 
is up here. All right, guys, just imagine back in the 1920s, this would have been like the teacup or coffee cup for a miner. Looks like it got like a couple bullet holes in it, but really cool find. And then uh, Owen's headed up that way. Looks like it's an easier grade. All right, guys, so here's the coolest and uh, definitely biggest piece of uh, machinery or equipment that we've seen so far. Still on the waste rock pile. Uh, this says Champion Blower and Forge Company, based out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, USA. Um, I have, I don't think this was part of a blower. It almost looks to me like a, a base off of something. This was the bottom. Uh, I was thinking it might have been like part of a drill column, but almost looks like a clamp. But uh, yeah, not totally sure what that is. Obviously, would have bolted down onto probably a concrete footing right here. Whatever it is, that is really cool. I don't watch that. All right, guys. Uh, there's like a 50 foot drop below me. Uh, and then right here, we got a beautiful air compressor, and uh, we got a belt right next to it, so I don't know if that would have been attached, but here's the head of the compressor. Uh, it's pretty nicely intact. It's still even got the, I don't know if you would call that a crankshaft right here, but uh, I got both flywheels. This, this one's thicker than the other one. wonder if there's a reason for that. And then uh, Owen's videoing the hit and miss engine right here. Uh, we looked around. It didn't have any uh, manufacturer or nameplate. So best guess is uh, Fairbanks Morse, but I've never seen a style like this. Unfortunately, uh, somebody took off the head of it, but pretty cool that there's still the lever. It's missing one of them. And last but not least, we got the hoist, which still got cable spooled all the way up to the head frame. Get around here real quick. So yeah, there's the uh, hoist. We got the big gear on the side of it. Got a barrel right here. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Little uh, work shed area. There was even like a tool shelf right over there, but unfortunately it collapsed. So I'm gonna head up to the mine right now. All right guys, made it up to the mine. Let me get below this uh, mountain so you guys can see everything without glare all right so right here you get a little uh tool shed uh, of course we got that amazing head frame and uh, rails go down that incline shaft right there and right here we got this uh ore bin with a ladder on the side of it one of the bigger ones that i've seen Here's a look at the front of it. Wow. Yeah, triple orbin. And it's even got a chute going off the side. All right, let's follow these rails. See what is over this way. There's another chute. Jeez, that was a close call. All right. Uh, oh crap. Yeah, so we got a trestle with rails going 
and then uh, the ore car would have dropped the ore down that uh, chute. And uh, wonder wonder if the wonder if the tram would have started right there. Maybe there is a bunch of cable going all directions. All right, guys. So uh, before we lose more light, we're gonna check out this uh, miner's work shed. There's a uh, side shot of the huge Orban. Oh, no way. So uh, I've seen one of these before. This is actually a track bender, so they would have put the track in here. I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, you got this hand crank. That obviously I had part to do with it. Uh, it doesn't have any uh, manufacturer name, but the last one that I found was made by uh, Ingersoll Rand. But yeah, that thing is like fully intact, which is crazy to see. And then uh, right over here, I kind of got like a funnel. I wonder if uh, almost looks like uh, something you would find in like an assay office or something. Uh, so much stuff scattered all around. And then uh, there's a shelf, and uh, there's just, sorry for the wind noise, uh, there's a bucket right here, uh, there's just so much metal right here, uh, you got drill steel, hand steel, um, drill bits, uh, a huge file I have literally never seen. A two foot file, uh, paint can, some sort of hinge, top of an insulator. That'd be super cool if that thing was intact all the way. Uh, half a dozen saws, looks like a clamp. Uh, maybe that's like a grease, grease can. And then uh, I think Owen headed into the mine already, so, uh, okay. And then uh, we got this riveted piece. Uh, ooh, way more metal here. There's a look behind. Oh, man. <laughs> and then here's the uh, oh, huge head frame and rail. Just look at that craftsmanship. And here's the back side of the Orban. There's the ore chute. Let me get a shot of it from over here real quick. Yeah, this mine is unbelievable. So, there would have been a skip car that would have ran all the way to the top there, uh, walked in, and then uh, dumped down that chute, and then that uh, ore would have went into the ore bin. And uh, yeah, there's a stoked out area right here. A little uh, pocket right here, I think that ends. And yeah, we're gonna head in, see what kind of awesome stuff we can find. I can already see a, an accumulator. Actually, I think there's a second one right there. All right, guys, this just looks so cool. This head frame. Me and Ono were talking and it looks like so symmetrical. And there's the uh, skip car rails heading in. So let's get in there. Accumulator right here.
vertical? Yeah. It's like 80 foot drop. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he's looking down. Uh, this is quite a gentle uh, slope. Kind of does uh, uh, steepen, but not too bad. And then here's a really wide skip car rails going up. All right, guys, gonna start heading down these ladders. I'm only gonna go down butt first, like this, for the first set, and then uh, I'll switch around. Oh, man. Looks like there's some galena right up in here. You can see that right here, too. Really shiny. Oh, here, too. Oh, looks like even some uh, ports right next to it. Let me turn down my light actually, so you guys can see that. Yeah, there's a really nice chunk right here. Ah. I guess focusing more on the geology, there's way more galena. Hopefully you can see how shimmery it is. And uh, it's really cold to the touch. So yeah, like I said last video, that's lead sulfide. And uh, I'm sure there's a good bit of silver in there, that's why it's so shiny. And uh, looking off this way, wow, we got a pretty big stope. Look at those skinny pillars, huh? He's looking down the shaft. I have a feeling that this mine is going to be uh, a gallery for geology because, oh my god, it's so shiny. Oh, huge chunks, man. Wish I brought my rock pick in here. Oh, I might have to go grab it because <laughs> this is amazing. All right, guys, so we made it down to the first definitive level. And as you can see, we got rail going. Oh my god, that's cool, it says Bear Brand Safety Fuse, Livermore, California. Hey Owen, did you see this uh, chunk of calcite? No. Let's just keep going down to... Uh, and that's a roller, I think. we we'll start at the bottom and we'll go up. Okay. But it's pretty cool. There, I didn't even get to the on the bottom. Ooh, and you know what this is? I think that's a, a piece off of a uh, bleach bottle. Okay. Yeah, and then there's a cable spool. Um, you didn't finish, right? No. All right, we'll continue down and then uh, work our way up. Alright guys, we get down to the bottom of the ladder, and as you can see, there's an upside down skip car that still has wheels. It's still connected to the cable. Oh, it's missing the other wheels, but it's got the... No, the other wheels are at the bottom, so... Oh, yeah, there's the wheels. And then, uh... I was looking at the back wheels. That's cool. And then uh, this drift keeps going off this one.
keeps going. Oh. Probably doesn't. Yeah, it probably sumps. Oh, that's kind of cool. Switch. Yeah, there's uh, rails that keep going down, but looks like it just ends. I'll head off this one. Man, this place is kind of amazed. Alright, I'm going off to the left. That looks pretty cool. I'll go this way. So there's a little pocket, and there's a little pocket. Go so far on the rail. Looking at the ship. And it just faces within uh, 15 feet. Alright, guys, we're in a pretty cool section of the mine. We get a whole bunch of these. Uh, Cardboard Hercules powder boxes. Here's another nice one. And then uh, I think the nicest one is right here. Got really nice fonts on it. And then uh, there's a couple remains of the wooden ones. It says ICC 14. And then here's two Atlas powder sides. And uh, we actually got a decline going way down there. And uh, Owen shined his super bright light, and you could see that it flattened out and uh, went. Oh, my light's going out. It went straight that way. Of this uh, decline with the skip car rails, and we decided to venture into this uh, huge stove. It's a waste rock pile inside of the mine. Oh damn! Oh, did you see this uh, RPM motor? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's covering the pillar. It was a huge waste rock pile. Uh, totally engulfing this stove. So, uh, quite a few pillars in here. There's a one, still, still. Uh, another pillar right here. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Damn. Oh, damn. That rail. That yeah. rail goes right next to the uh, decline. This is cool. Keeps going down. Yeah, this is one hell of a big mine. Level. That's, um... Oh shit. Oh yeah, more rail. Bet there's an orca on there somewhere. Yeah. We would have seen him. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, this is really cool. I've never really seen a platform like this. Yeah, that thing just keeps going. Um, I was looking up. Alright guys, so I found this just laying in that pile of rubble right there. 
And this is actually a Craftsman uh, tape measure. It's got a patent number, uh, what is that, 1964280, and other patents pending. Made in USA. You can still see the numbers and everything. It's on our side. Then on the other side it says six foot flex rigid rule for inside reading. Okay, yeah, that's a super cool find. Probably dates to the 50s, I guess. All right, guys, here's a pretty unique uh, ore shoot. Usually don't see them this narrow, and it's pretty cool because it got a. Uh, Dynamite pieces uh, incorporated, and wow, that is really cool. So, hey, here's like a makeshift. Uh, actually, this wouldn't really even be a gate, but hmm. interesting mechanism right there. I'm looking up, and then, uh, oh, and it's continuing down the decline. Alright guys, finally made it down to the uh, bottom of the wow, bottom of the decline, and uh, right here we were not expecting to find an ore car. Awesome, and then uh, right next to it we got a cardboard uh, dynamite box. Uh, missing the wheels, unfortunately, but still got the lever. Oh, okay, don't no, tip it over. But yeah. Lever still moves. Probably dates to the, uh, I would guess, 30s or 40s. Here's a look at the gate. Awesome. There's a look inside. Alright guys, uh, more artifacts up in this mine. So this is a top off of an old uh, half pint whiskey. You can barely see um, like the tax stamp. Yeah, there's remnants of the paper, but uh, this probably dates back to the 1920s or so. And then I'm thinking that this uh, big Prince Albert probably dates to the 20s or 30s. So it seems like the farther down we go, the older the artifacts get. But yeah, that is a that is a really clean find. Usually don't find them with that nice of paint. I'll leave that right there. Here's yet another really cool find that we uh, made. So uh, here's a dynamite stick that doesn't have any uh, nitroglycerin in it. Hercules gelatin made by Hercules Powder Company. Uh, so it says LF, so that means uh, low freeze and then 40% uh, strength. Yeah, that's one cool find. Alright guys, this mine is just utterly loaded. So we got this uh, riveted shovel. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, let's see what brand this is. I think Owen says uh, the giant, giant apples. High explosive dangers. Okay, giant, yeah. Everything for blasting. And then right inside of it, we got this uh, matchbox. It says Freeman. I'm guessing that's a hotel or a casino. Freeman. And it says uh, Fremont Street, Las Vegas. Pretty cool. And then uh, over here we got a couple of Hercules. 
There's a nice Hercules, and then uh, there's another one. Check that out. Lots of awesome dynamite boxes in here. Not sure what that piece was. Alright, let's head over this way. So right here, that's the top off of a, probably a vinegar bottle. It's got wire wrapped around it. There's another Hercules powder. And we got RPM motor oil, Allstate motor oil. Um, that says co-op. Yeah, those are super cool. Then, oh wow, there's another ore car right there. Check that out. Yeah, I'm missing the gate, but super cool. What's up, Owen? Is that a four car from this side? Also missing the lever. Uh, and then uh, he's looking up into the stoops. Some rail right here. There's a half box over there. Oh yeah. This might go to it. Another oh, Hercules. Ooh. Quite the maze. Alright guys, so I was rummaging under all those uh, dynamite boxes and came across this, uh, I don't know if you call it a Stetson hat, but it looks like one of my uh, grandfather's hats, kind of. But uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think, 20s? Maybe 30s? Dude, this looks like... Yeah. I mean, feel, feel the edges there. It's like, huh. it is not very comfortable. I'm sure by the 30s, they would have had something that would have. But did it still soft? <laughs> yeah. A little tie at the, at the end, too. But yeah, that's one of those super old fashioned uh, Western hats. I, that's probably doesn't, one amazing doesn't point. look like it fits very many people, though. Yeah, it's, it's like pretty a small. super do small dude. Fuck it. <laughs> and there's this also a side off of a uh, Hercules. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright guys, continuing on, uh, we made it back to like the first definitive level, and uh, uh, we're going down this, uh, oh, okay, so uh, we made it out a different uh, portal. Let's not get struck by lightning. Is it raining? Yeah. Bruh. Alright guys, it's raining as I turn off the light. It's raining in the desert. Nice. <laughs> Alright, ooh, what is that? Check that out. Oh. A big old chunk of metal. So we're way below so. Well that was pretty cool that we uh exited another portal and uh when we got in there, it was like completely sunny. 
And then, uh, uh, how long have you been? Let me check real quick. Yeah, it's about four hours, it says. Been in here four hours and then it's raining. Hey, yo, is that a broom? I think so. And then there's Charlie Brown on there. All right, guys, so uh, we made it back to this section of the mine, and then Owen already started the ascent upwards. Uh, there's looking way up there. And then that skip car is down there. So let's catch up to him. All right, guys, so we uh, just got out of the mine. There's looking at the uh, head frame one last time. Oh, it's raining right now, so. But yeah, we're gonna probably hit to another one or something. So we're uh, headed out. We uh, survived uh, going down that uh, pretty steep tailings pile in the rain. Uh, we noticed that it was way more uh, stiff, I guess you could say, you know, compared to if it was dry. And uh, that was quite the explore. Uh, the first one we uh, obviously did the 3D scanning. Uh, it was really cool to see. Appreciate that, Owen, for yeah. uh, taking me out fun. there to do that. And then, uh, obviously, the second one, you got all the, uh, you got the compressor, all the other equipment, the, uh, what do you got, the hit miss engine, uh, hoist, and of course the huge head frame. And then inside the mine, you got the couple war cars, um, Pairs of jeans. Um, what else? Did I say skip car? Skip car as well. Yeah, and all that dynamite. Yeah, there were. Uh, did you say ten? That was probably ten. Yeah, about ten sticks of dynamite, all in the same area. But uh, yeah. Anything you want to add? Uh, no, that was a great two days of exploring. I uh, can't wait to see these videos live on YouTube. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, super excited to get these out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed these. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.